So if you don't want to watch more than, say, 30 seconds of this video, I want to just get one point across to you immediately before you turn it off. And that's if you had any intention of depositing any kind of funds whatsoever or doing any business with or on incognito market, you should probably seriously rethink that. You would probably get more out of your money by just donating your money to like the EFF. At least then you have a tax right off. During Christmas of 2023, I posted a short about incognito market and the strong potential that they were exit scamming at the time. If you're considering a purchase on incognito market, you may want to pause and reassess. Currently, users are experiencing issues with withdrawals of Monero specifically. Uh, this could signal the onset of an exit scam. So while there's no like absolute confirmation, it's critical to just stay alert and cautious. Happy holidays, everyone. I was wrong when I said it. And later did another video saying that the market was back up. And I didn't apologize because uh, if I ever think that a market is exit scamming, I'm going to say so. Even if I'm wrong, I would much rather be like overly cautious and paranoid than not. And estimating when or if a market will exit scam during any particular darknet market's lifetime is super challenging to say the least we always hope when a market decides to close shop that it does gracefully however the allure of money and pressure of greed can be too much for some darknet market administrators exit scams tarnish the overall image of darknet markets creating an impression of instability for the rest of the general public before people start laughing, just, just know that in 2023 alone, an extra $1.7 billion in revenue was discovered to have run through the darknet marketplaces that exist. And mind you, that's an extra $1.7 billion, <laughs> like on top of what was ran through them in 2022. So when I say it's stable, it is. Like, yes, we see instability with things like exit scams and whatnot but you know the thing to keep in mind is there is still enough stability for billions of dollars to flow annually still someone looking in from the outside should know that at the end of the day the norm is not instability but rather a ton of active trading buying and selling which is not decreasing but increasing according to all the metrics that are out there which also, by the way, flies in the face of basically every United States attorney and federal prosecutor that's out there who during every bust or rather every time some idiot has ridiculously horrible OPSEC, like by using Coinbase or something, the feds are quick to make statements about how like these criminals cannot hide behind Tor. And I will be posting an article with the sources on the additional 1.7 billion I was talking about in like a day or two. Unfortunately, some markets choose to go out via exit scams. It's the harsh reality of the darknet. And interestingly, everything we could say about darknet market exit scam could also absolutely apply to more than a few different websites on the clear net that have sold legal goods in the past and have also robbed from their customers or killed them. Thievery, as it were, is not something that's exclusive to the darknet. Some businesses conduct their business ethically and some lack any morality whatsoever. Early this morning, my social media feeds, both on the clearnet and on the darknet, basically exploded with messages from people discussing incognito and making educated guesses about the fate of this particular darknet market. Uncertain times, like these, lead to heated arguments and back-and-forth debates among market users, typically until enough time passes for the market's future to become self-evident to those arguing. And then the denial phase to run its course through the darknet market's prolonged absence. Interestingly enough, with Incognito, this didn't really seem 
to be the case. It's one of the few instances in which I've witnessed a pretty solid consensus. This market exit scamming is super unfortunate, in my opinion, given the fact that I think that the market had some really interesting points to it, like the fact that they allowed individuals to vote on future features and things that they wanted, giving a democratic feel to what typically is a totalitarian society run by the darknet market admin, and then second, the darknet market moderators, and then trickling down to the darknet market vendors, and finally the buyers. Early this morning, when I hopped on Dread, which for those of you living under a rock is a forum on the darknet, it's the darknet's Reddit, basically. I saw a ton of posts about this exact topic, and one such post, which had been put up about five hours before I woke up, which usually is around 4.30 in the morning. And for those, for those of you in the know, I am still suited and booted by then, ready to rock. Anyway, the message on Dread that I saw first said in all capital letters, incognito, exit scam confirmed, avoid. In the actual post, they went on to say, I was definitely in the no exit camp and everything so far could have been explained by technical problems, but no more. Vendors are now reporting that they have been taken out of vacation mode and are not able to take their listings down again. This is an active step on the part of the admin to capture more funds. In any case, a second one is also in all caps and predates the former by a couple hours. This one is by Hourglass, who goes through the effort of breaking down the info in a spreadsheet to clearly illustrate the issues that users are facing, detailing who is facing what issue and what the actual issue is and what form of cryptocurrency they're using with the date as well as the amount of money. The problem is also detailed in the last header of the spreadsheet all the way to the right. The username Sausages warns people that messages no longer work on incognito, which you know, we knew from the former. The fourth video chooses yet another post discussing the post incognito world. This thread didn't have many replies, but it was interesting that people were considering alternatives at this point. Like one thing's for sure, the darknet markets and the, the culture wait for no man. The last post that we're going to check out is from Hugbunter himself. And in this video, he states that he can 100% confirm that the market has in fact exit scammed. He also points out that Incognito purchased Darknet Live a popular news site. If you get any news from this site, you should seriously vet it with other sources before actually believing it. Furthermore, you definitely should not use any links on this website. My go-to place for links is daunt.link. It was created by Alan Bunter. It's a part of the Dread infrastructure. Tor Taxi also works, but here's the thing. We've Seeing how darknet sites like news outlets and link directories often end up in the hands of the highest bidder, and more often than not, these bidders are up to no good. They're typically fishers. This is a risky and frankly a terrible move, and the reason for that is because usually when the site is sold, it's already gained a lot of trust from the users, and that's precisely what a fisher wants like a well-known site that has people's trust like this is a, this is especially true for newcomers to the darknet community who might not be aware of these risks at all so it's always important to stay vigilant and cautious and please once you log into a site like create a bookmark it's not that hard when malicious actors buy sites like this the damage can absolutely be devastating Pharaoh tried to bribe Hugbunter according to Hugbunter's post. I ended up going about my day and instead of making a video right then and there 
I elected to hear what all of you had to say about this topic. Because sometimes it's more important to just shut up and listen to what the community has to say. As many of you already know, I launched a poll inside the community tab on this YouTube channel. And without a doubt, the response from all of you here on YouTube blew away the responses that I would see on other sites like LinkedIn and, and Twitter. And seeing the YouTube audience like stand up and, and get their hands dirty by participating in that poll was, was really, really fantastic. I love interacting with you. It's been an absolute thrill to involve all of you who participated in the recent poll, showcasing the results and the collective wisdom in this video. This channel is graced by some of the most astute, insightful, and seasoned individuals out there. I just wanted to take a moment to express my heartfelt gratitude to all of you. Without a doubt, you are the most incredible subscribers on YouTube. The depth of my appreciation for your viewership is something that words can't fully capture. I can't articulate it good enough. Do you speak any English? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? So thank you for being a part of this journey and I appreciate everyone's support. Even if your threat model demands that you never log in so you can never upvote or comment, I still appreciate you taking the time to be here with me. What I find most fascinating though about the Darknet community is its unique blend of Closeness yet anonymity, like salt and pepper or salt and sugar. Um, it's like we're all part of this secret society, invisible and unknown to each other, yet connected in a really strange and kind of profound way. It's as if we're all specters wandering through this like digital underworld, unseen but not unfelt. And uh, we don't know each other in the traditional sense, yet... There's a sense of familiarity, like a shared understanding, and it's a particular paradox that at the heart of the darknet subculture, it makes it even more intriguing to those who are involved in it. I digress. When we're trying to anticipate specific trends on the darknet, like a market exit scamming, we can't ignore the role of things like cryptocurrency values. As the price of Bitcoin continues to rise, it creates a huge temptation for those in charge of these darknet markets to just take the money and run. Now, I might be connecting dots that aren't there, but I can't shake this feeling that there's a link between increasing value of crypto and the frequency of exit scams. It's like the higher the stakes, the more likely people are to just snatch the cash off the desk and, and run out and this isn't based on any hard data that i personally have or any on like any detailed analysis that i've done it's just more of a gut feeling but like sometimes intuition can point us towards patterns that aren't immediately obvious so given the circumstances i can't provide concrete evidence but this correlation definitely seems plausible and i'd like to know what you think about it but to wrap things up it's worth noting Darkfail reported a significant outflow of Bitcoin from the admin accounts yesterday. And this is a major red flag, often indicating an exit scam. So it seems we're bidding farewell to yet another market. But as we've seen time and time again, once one market closes, one or two more pop up and it's just a matter of days because it's a never ending cycle of madness. And as for incognito market, it has its ups and downs like any other. But what are your thoughts? How did you perceive incognito market when it was active, when it first came out? What do you think will end up replacing it? Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.